In case you haven't heard, Amazon's released a new cloud music service that lets you store and play your MP3s everywhere. URL in the description box. But I know many of you already have your music set up with iTunes. So let me show you how you can sync your music with both programs. Internet is starting to follow us everywhere. We can access it virtually anywhere we are. So Amazon had this bright idea of storing our music in the internet cloud. Why not? But I'm sure most of you already have the perfect setup for your music. So how can you sync your music folder with Amazon Cloud so the changes made in one folder are automatically passed to the other? Well guys, that's what I'm going to show you. Seriously, I thought you would have had that figured out by now. You should note that this tutorial is for Windows only. I'll do one later for Mac and hopefully Linux and I'll post it on my Tinkernut Remix channel. And most likely I'll put the link right there. So if you don't see it, I haven't posted it yet. Hopefully by the end of this video you'll have an Amazon Cloud Player account and a way to sync your music to that account. And a way to sync your new purchases from iTunes to Amazon and vice versa. First you'll need to go to Amazon and sign up for an account if you don't already have one. Then on their home page you can go to the MP3 and Cloud Player section and select Cloud Player for the web and this will launch the Cloud Player. Now you'll see that Amazon has a button to start uploading your music but we don't want to do it that way. What we want to do instead is map the Amazon Cloud Drive to your computer so that we can access it like a folder. We'll do this using a free program called GladiNet. You'll find a link to it in the description box. Just download, install, and run it and you'll see that you can link a bunch of different online storage accounts to it, including your Amazon Cloud Drive. So select it, enter in your credentials, and let it connect. This will map it to your computer as the Z Drive, so now you can access it like any other folder. So the next step is to sync it to your iTunes Music folder. To do this, we're going to be using a free program from Microsoft called Sync Toy. Link in the DB. Once you have it installed, you can select your iTunes folder and your Amazon Music folder and tell it to sync them both ways. After you give it a name and click finish, you can then tweak the settings so that it doesn't sync hidden files, system files, and specific file types such as videos. Then when you click run, it will start syncing your files. Depending on how much music you have, this could take from a few minutes to a few hours. And since we told it to sync both ways, whatever happens in one folder will happen in the other. So if you buy a song off iTunes, it will automatically sync to your Amazon account and vice versa. One thing to note is that Amazon only gives you 5 free gigabytes. So if your music collection is larger than that, you'll have to purchase more storage space. However, Amazon currently has a promotion where if you buy any MP3 album from them, they'll give you 20 free gigabytes and that's any album which means you can buy a cheap 89 cent album and get 20 free gigabytes all right be sure to check out tinkernut.com on tumblr facebook and twitter that's it for this tutorial for more go to tinkernut.com